Hello friend, Mormo here. And today I'm at Wendy's. I just went through the Wendy's drive-thru. I'm actually in the Target parking lot. But um, I got up early today. Uh, I had a bad day yesterday. I slept like basically all day. Slept all day, slept all through the night. And then woke up about nine today in the morning and took my shower and then Andy my friend Andy cooks food has been telling me I need to try Wendy's breakfast that I need to try their Baconator so I decided since I was up early I would give the Baconator a try and I thought the breakfast meal would come with hash browns but it comes with seasoned potatoes they kind of look like JoJo's. Mmm. They're actually good. And then I got black coffee here. Wow, it's very hot. But it's probably a good thing I got up so early today because today's voting day, so I'm gonna go vote and um, I have plenty of time to vote now. These seasoned potatoes are actually real good. I'm glad I got to try them. Not with what I was expecting, but actually very good. And for voting, I'm gonna vote for Nicole Galloway, and I'm gonna vote for expanding Medicaid. And I'm going to vote for Karen Bast, even though she's a Republican, but Democrats don't even bother running for office around here. It's a red state, but my area is especially like conservative and stuff. But here's the breakfast baconator, so let's open it up and check it out. I saw it has sausage. And of course, plenty of bacon. It's it's on that same bun as the regular Baconator. So it's got egg, bacon, cheese, sausage. Hello? That was just my doctor's office reminding me that I got a doctor's appointment coming up. But I'm just gonna do it over the phone. It's so much easier over the phone. That's one of the positives of this stupid virus is that <clears throat> I don't have to drive all the way up to Springfield to talk to my daughter or my, my doctor on the um, TV, they just have me plugged in, like talking to the TV.
and why they can't just put her on the TV here or why I can't just talk to her on my computer always frustrated me. So now I can just talk to her on the phone because of the virus. I think there is some mayo on the sandwich and it's good. I don't I would consider it like awesome or anything. It's just kind of good and Everything's good on it. I don't know. I'm just not like super impressed or anything. Maybe there was too much, maybe I had too much hype built up. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to say, folks. The, bre the breakfast Baconator is just okay, I think. I actually like the dinner Baconator better, I think. Just kind of average. I mean, it was good, but it could have been better. And I think I was expecting um, hash browns. And the seasoned fries were real good, but... I kind of wanted hash browns for breakfast. I don't know. I'd give it a three out of five. It was good, just not like awesome like I was expecting, I guess. Okay, anyways, I'm going to get back out on the road and I'm going to go vote. Stay tuned and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so here we are at the Hollister uh, Chamber of Commerce or whatever, I don't know what you call it, but I'm about to go in and vote and I'm really excited. I've been waiting for this for a long time. So stick around, I'll be right back. Okay, friends, so I voted. Here's my little sticker. I'll put it on my shirt and stuff. Um, I didn't get to vote for Karen Best because I chose a Democrat ballot. So I guess I just don't get to vote in the local election or whatever. But um, voted for Nicole Galloway and the Medicaid expansion. Yes, on the Medicaid expansion. And I'm really stoked to vote. And uh, thanks so much. Keep watching. I'll be right back. Hello, I'm here at home now. I'm at... I'm on my back porch. I'm drinking a uh, on sweet tea from Come and Go. On sweet tea is really like my favorite drink in the world. I just love it so much. And it was so cool today to eat a baconator, a breakfast baconator, and then getting to vote was awesome. I've been looking forward to voting for a long time. But I have a question for you watching and that's, would you be upset if I started doing make money videos again on this channel? I, I've been uploading to my other channel, Horror Cash, and I'm just gaining like maybe one subscriber a week and it's really slow and I only get like a couple views per video. 
and I have some really good material. Line, whoa. I have some really good material lined up for um, Make Money Online. I bought the rights to some really good courses and I can upload them to YouTube. And I'm really proud of what I'm doing on the HorrorCast channel. And uh, I just, there's just so few fans and I'm not monetized on that channel. And I feel like I could earn some more income if I uploaded Make Money videos to this channel. So let me know in the comments what you think. Would you be upset if I started uploading Make Money content to this channel? And also, I just don't know if I can do food daily. Like, I know a lot of people like these vlog type videos. And I can still do vlogs and stuff, but like, I just don't know if I can do food daily. Um, without getting like an eating disorder or something. So what do you think? Is it okay if I start uploading make money content to this channel? Would you be all right with it? And uh, let me know and thanks so much. Please comment, thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell and share. Sharing is caring. And uh, thanks again so much.